Hi, Jacob with Agora Pulse, and in this video today, we're gonna to talk about a really great efficiency feature called your inbox assistant. Now within Agora Pulse's powerful social inbox, you have a lot of features that you can enact manually to hide, delete, identify, or label conversations. Now, if you are managing multiple accounts and you're getting a lot of conversations in, specifically conversations that may be around the same topic or people are asking the same type of questions, this is where the inbox assistant within your social inbox in Agora Pulse is going to create the most efficiency for you. And we're gonna talk about how to set up those rules and how they apply to your conversations automatically. Now we're taking a look at the social inbox here and we're looking specifically at our Facebook page where we have two conversations. Now I'm gonna focus on this conversation specifically from the topic perspective. We're working on our fitter today. This is a fitness page and we get a lot of questions about signups or how they can sign up or where they can sign up. And I have a team member that, that typically handles that. And we also have a process where we want to label all sign up questions so that we can identify how many questions we're getting about signups and then dig into that and see, is there a better way to answer these questions maybe through posts or a better way to answer those questions when we're actually replying to them either through a save reply or through a unique reply as well too. So in this example, I can totally reply simply here, uh, directly here, I can reply in a personal message, I can label, I can even assign this over to my team member manually and have them reply because that's their role in our process. Now, in this example, we're gonna get a lot more of these conversations. So for me to come in and manually label or manually assign that over, that actually may not be the most efficient for us because we're trying to answer as, as quickly as possible and in the best, most efficient way as possible. Now, enter the social inbox, inbox assistant. Each one of your networks is gonna have direct access to your inbox assistant. You will have the ability to create inbox assistant rules uniquely per network. So if we're getting different types of questions about a similar topic, but asked in a different way on Instagram versus how we're being asked on Facebook, you can set up different keywords and phrases and different actions as well. So let's take a look at what it looks like to set up an inbox assistant rule. We're gonna simply click here, but you can also access this through your main social profile settings if you're on the back end of your settings as well. But this button on this profile will take us directly to Facebox inbox assistant rule settings. You can see we're right here. But if I do want to move around to other networks, you can do that right here. Now, when creating a rule, let's create up uh, our sign up rule. Now, when we're creating a rule, you want to give it a name and then come in here and put in as many keywords or phrases as you need. So as an example, um, let's let's add in a phrase we get a lot. Where can we sign up? Now, I also wanna add in maybe other ways people uh, type in sign up. So they may add in sign up as one word or sign up with a dash. Now you can create as many inbox assistant rules as possible. You also will be able to add in as many different keywords and key phrases. So if you need to add more to this rule as you see more conversations coming in, go ahead and add that directly into that rule. Now, once we've added our keywords and key phrases that we want monitored, then we come to the action part. If these key phrases, if these words come into a comment, what do we want to do? And we have all of these manual options we saw. We can review. I can assign it to a team member. I can hide an assigner, hide and review it. So in this example, we wanted to assign it over to a direct colleague. My colleague, Jacob, is going to come in here and manage all of those conversations. So if I want to assign that over to Jacob, simply select them there. And we can also finish this out by having this conversation be bookmarked automatically. The bookmark allows you to go find conversations that you just want to come back to later or as we talked about this example we want to add in our sign up label so everyone that asks questions about sign up we're automatically identifying those as a sign up and we are automatically pulling those in they're automatically being assigned to our colleague jacob and they're automatically being labeled in our reporting section thanks so much for watching today to learn more or to watch more about our advanced inbox features please visit our help center or start a direct chat with us today Bye.